Welcome to this day at Everything Cool for January 28th. One of the most influential strategy games of all time was released on the PlayStation 1 on this day in 1998, Square's Final Fantasy Tactics. The gameplay for this title was tile-based and structured almost like chess, with the player's units lined up on one side of the playing field and the computer-controlled opponents on the other. The isometric viewpoint gave the title a decidedly less state-of-the-art look than 1997's acclaimed Final Fantasy VII, but there were still flashy story sequences and spell effects. It was challenging and fresh and has become a timeless escape for strategy and Final Fantasy fans over the years as the game has been ported to other platforms. Would sure love a Final Fantasy Tactics game on the Switch, Square Enix. Just saying. On this day in 1981, Elijah Wood was born in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. A hard-working actor from the time he was nine, Wood got his start in entertainment as video game kid number two in Back to the Future Part Two in 1989. In 1993, he played the title character in The Adventures of Huck Finn, and as a young leading man, had a prime role in Deep Impact in 1998. His star was rising, but it was clearly Elijah Wood's turn as Frodo Baggins in the Lord of the Rings trilogy that catapulted him to international prominence. Wood has also lent his vocal talents to video games like Spyro the Dragon, Double Fine's adventure game Broken Age, and as a passionate gamer has appeared at countless events over the years, like the first g 4 Awards in 2002. Oh, who's that talking with Elijah? Currently, Elijah Wood can be seen in the BBC America show Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. Happy birthday, Elijah! On this day in 1965, the current design for the flag of Canada was chosen by an act of parliament. It wasn't without controversy and many different options, but it was Lester B. Pearson who worked hard to create something that was distinct from Canada's history as part of the United Kingdom, and it was George Stanley that agreed with that thinking and pushed for the flag to be inspired by the Royal Military College of Canada's distinctive red and white design. In the end, after much back and forth at an all-political party committee, a decision was made, and on January 28th, 1965, Queen Elizabeth II proclaimed the famous red and white maple leaf design as the official flag of Canada.